What is keeping me flowing in the industry for 15 years now is I've turned my passion into a profession. Actually, did my first video when I was in SS3. Back then, I was paid 2,500. Without video vixens and music videos, music videos are totally boring. What other jobs do I do? Uh, I work in the hospital. Hi everybody, this is St. Michael Medical Center, here to my 12. This is where I work every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I need to keep up with what I do because I love it. So come inside with me, let me show you what my day, my 8, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. routine is like. I will not see, I'm just because where is Suyimbo, where is Suyimbo? So, so and the way she discharged her duty too is very okay because she can interact with people very well. Right, and this one, one in the morning and one at night. Right. Do you understand? Thank you very much and thank you for using the Michael Medical Center. We we'll hope to see much. you next time for good recommendations. Thank you very thank much. You. Have a nice day. So sometimes work brings me to the children's department, sometimes I come play with the children, we sing, we dance and they sleep off. My inspiration can come from a beggar on the road, it can come from a baby. I don't have a particular one. Come let me teach you how to cut work. <laughs> Yeah, come. So put your hand on your waist like this. Yes, like this. But the way she cares for children, the way she interacts with people, is so wonderful. Mm-hmm. So do like this. Put your hand now. You were doing it before. Put your hand on your waist. So let's cut work. So cross your leg and cut work. You are doing it before. Put your hand on your waist like this. A video vixen and a video dancer, they are two different people because but right now many models are many vixens they are mixing it up like they believe if you're a video whatever video vixen and even people outside the industry they mix it up they believe if you are in a video you are a vixen already but we have the music um, dancers and the music um, video vixens it's the directors who will literally, when, whenever you go on set very well, you will see where the directors will tell you, vixens, dancers, get. So there are two different people. A musical um, video vixen are those people who just come and show that kind of seductive look in camera. They just, you know, they are just there to show that seductive look. They give that attitude when the music play. They give them a role to play like, okay, you will play the role of the girlfriend. You will play the role of a beggar. You will play as far as you are playing a role. You are not dancing. You are the vixen because you are. They are giving you a reference to play to the song, so you are a vixen in that musical video. But for a dancer, they gave you the song. This is a song. Create a routine to this beat, and make the beat look nice. Okay, maybe you are having an urban or um, Afro beat. Do something to it, then you dance. So these are two different people. The musical dancer, the dancers are do, giving in more energy. Why you that vixen are just working based on reference of what they are giving you for that particular scene you have. My coach happens to be my best friend, Hilary. Whenever I have issues, he's the first person I call. 
we fight a lot we have arguments but sometimes even when we fight i'll just call him hello i just want to tell you that i have something 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 i'll be like eh, okay even we we had issues but that doesn't mean he won't advise me or tell me what to do um one thing about her in the dance class is when esther dances she thinks a lot and it comes in, in in terms of dance you don't have to think when you dance why she thinks is because she has one shoot waiting for her she has one interview waiting for her she has one appointment waiting for her so when she comes to the dance class sometimes she could forget one or two steps and i get angry and i scream at her sometimes i even tell her to step out from the stage I tell her to go home i yell at her and she goes to a corner she become she, she feels so bad and all that so after class i go to apologize to her so one thing i just could say in dance class she's very good very good, she learns fast. My coach is like an energy dancer like they call him dance machine he dances like the world is going to calm down or dismantle so whenever i'm dancing i think dancing is the only way i can fit i know dancing is the only way i can fit i love dance like when when it comes to dance i'm literally a different person like I like to define anything any once I'm, if i'm doing something and i i just get distracted with dance or i see a video and it's about dance and the music is so interesting and touching i leave whatever I, i'm doing and i go far and i you just i'm just in another realm already thinking i'm just imagining fictions things that are not real i'll just be like ah i wish this will happen i wish this will happen then i'll be like okay and sometimes i get from movies i get from books too but dance is number one. Dance is a serious business. Whenever we see ourselves, whenever we're on set together, it's like, <laughs> it's wonderful, you know what to know.